Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode here of our F1 2012 career mode. We have just four Grand Prix remaining in this career and we have a brand new track to myself here today and that is the Indian Grand Prix. I have never even seen this track. I've seen the iconic Sebastian Vettel moment here. That's the most I've ever seen of this circuit here. So this is something completely new to me that I'm very excited for. Fresh off of a rough Korean Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton still atop the board in the points shocker there. 380 Eight points to Alonso's 251, Button's 243, and it's going to need to be a miracle for Alonso to get in this championship fight. But four Grand Prix remaining, it's still possible. Let's head into a brand new circuit for myself. All right, then here we go for a qualifying attempt at, like I said, a track I've never seen before. Now I'm playing this on my new PC, so in a new resolution and everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, but turn one, all right, interesting turn one right off the bat. And if we can qualify anything better than 15th. I'd be pretty impressed with my efforts here now as we head down into this next right-hander. Look at that. Okay, this is an interesting one right off the bat. Hamilton, top of the board right now as we head down what appears to be an extremely long straightaway. Now, this would fit into very, very current day Formula 1 actually now as, holy crap, this actually goes on for a minute now. Where's Hamilton going to slow down? I'm going to slow down quite early, I feel like, now. Oh, this is an interesting corner right here going down to the elevation a little bit as well now as Hamilton's got a really nice gap on us so I'm not liking uh, my chances on this one so far but we go through this left hander here oh it's a double lefty oh this is cool this is cool I dig it that's not good that didn't look very good right there but you know what it's fun whoa 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 this is fun I actually dig this so far here as we go through now what a uh, long sweeping right hander holy crap that goes on for a minute as well you can get the DRS going here until you do something like that right there yeah we're gonna qualify dead last year now uh it's gonna be a rough one we got some work to do in the grand prix i can tell you that much but this is a really quick sweeping circuit so far so i kind of i like the vibe of it just like in korea how that circuit was still pretty new to me i really enjoyed the vibe of korea and I'm really enjoying the vibe of this corner, or this whole circuit, I should say, not just the corner. But yeah, it was an absolutely abysmal qualifying effort. Uh, but we crossed the line, and we qualified 20th. Honestly, to the fact that I didn't go dead last, I will take. I think, you know, we've gotten really good sometimes here as these races go on on new circuits. So I think we can still get a competitive qualifying effort. So uh, I, I get a lot of questions. Why don't you do practice? I like the challenge of just going in blind uh, to some of these circuits for the first time because the game at the end of the day isn't a huge challenge like some of the current F1 games are. So I like to kind of present that challenge to myself. So yeah, let's head to the grid. All right, we're ready to go. Lights out here from P20, 15 laps. We got the yellow stripe tires on, and now we are ready to go. Five red lights, and it's going to be lights out. We are underway. Now, this uh, game looks a lot different on the new resolution that I'm playing in, which is the 1440p. The car feels wider to me now as we head down into turn one, and, you know, I could have maybe got a little bit more aggressive right there, uh, but I didn't want to risk anything now as we are going to uh, go up towards this really, really interesting corner. The car really does feel wider to me uh, on this new resolution, uh, but oh, oh, someone, someone's been it. Someone's completely off and oh, there's a cone in the middle of the track. I don't want to hit that. Okay, so we've got problems. That's probably the most chaotic start of the season uh, in terms of drama that wasn't started, you know, by myself, I would say. I'm going to try and gain some more ground here. I'm really going to get aggressive. I'm trying to not wreck anybody like last episode. Don't get a uh, drive through penalty. However, we do move up into P13. So, so far, you know, a pretty successful Grand Prix start now. But this is where it seems to get fun on this circuit. Now, first part of the circuit is just kind of whatever. It's just kind of there. You kind of deal with it. Then it gets fun for a few moments now as we go through this uh, right, then this left, and then we're headed up to the long, sweeping, right-handed uh, carousel, I call it. And, oh, this is fun. You can really get on that gas pedal, though. That's something I'm going to have to remember. Then you kind of let it roll hard on that throttle again. Oh, yeah, I, I dig this circuit a lot, actually. I would like to see modern cars take on a circuit like this. I'm sure if I can maybe find a mod for it on our factor or something that we could mess around. That was nearly the end of my Grand Prix early on, but... We hold on to P13, and I feel like we're putting up a decent pace so far coming to the end of this first lap. 
Going for it. Going for it. Going for it. Felt like that was the perfect dive bomb corner. And you know what? I, I would say I was proven right there. The pass on Maldonado of all people. And now we go up into P12. He's going to have some slipstream here. So I'm trying to use some Kerr deployment. But I'm trying to save a little bit at the time. At the, at the same time, you don't need a whole lot of Kerrs outside of this straightaway, it seems like. So I'm going to get aggressive there and, and use them up now as we head down into the breaking zone. Such a wide corner. Reminds me of almost a, a turn one. And Circuit of the Americas, that kind of reminds me of Maldonado, where are you going? He's going right. I'll give you the space. I'll give you the space. It's your space. You're entitled to it, but he's going to give it to me. And now we got to try and make up some ground here on these guys in front of us. This is the corner that's catching me off guard so far. I haven't gotten through there successfully a single time. I've cut through each, each lap qualifying and the first two laps of this Grand Prix but overall I would say a pretty successful start you know up into P12 a little bit of work to do if we're gonna go run down these guys in front of us but I'm up for the challenge all right DRS enabled Maldonado's got to run he's sticking with me he's not making life easy that's for sure as we head down into turn one though we hold him off now but I'm trying to of course build up a bit of a, a comfort gap between himself and I before we head into this DRS straightaway now as we go down into first gear then up into second, hard on that gas pedal, a little bit wide right there, not what I was looking for, that's the opportunity he needs, he's probably going to have a run back at me. Not even a contest, there he goes, Maldonado takes the position back, I'm not even going to try and fight it, I'm going to just let him have it, and maybe we can kind of learn a little bit more from him as we head down into the very heavy braking zone here, and he is barely putting through that corner. We have uh, somebody, somebody pitting here, it's uh, Senna, Bruno Senna. Is into the pits. The gap between myself and Maldonado has uh, not changed a whole lot, but what's most important about this gap between myself and Maldonado is, well, it's not really important at all, but we are gaining on the cars ahead of Maldonado. I'm just kind of creeping up in here in the mix and just kind of letting Maldonado just drag me along because I'm using him as uh, my uh, my guide again, kind of like I was using AI in, in the South Korean grand prix as you can see those uh dots up there are getting a little bit closer as the grand prix goes on we got 11 laps of racing to go so still plenty of time to make things happen here and obviously what we're hoping for is to see some battling between the ai up in front as well that will drag us into it but yeah just keeping the gap about the same right now to maldonado and letting him drag me along looks like maldonado is coming into the pits and we got quite a few drivers Coming into the pits here as well, Jensen Button being one of those names, looks like Raikkonen another name as well. We're coming into the pits at the end of this lap right here. I really drove deep there into turn one, just trying to find a little bit of extra uh, speed, but maybe not the way I want to do it here. But we are still creeping in on these drivers in front of us. So my confidence is, is building a little bit here, but now that's that's not how you build the confidence. That corner can really catch you off guard at times here now, but I'm using all of my car deployment down this one straight away just hoping to get that extra boost that i need now three seconds of para is just, i believe he's actually battling uh with his teammate if i'm not mistaken it looks like i still can't do this corner to save my life i mean i am just so 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 bad through that section of racetrack now but i mean everywhere else is just so much fun i mean even that corner that i'm screwing up every lap is still an absolute blast to drive right here it's such a unique set of corners right here then you get hard on that gas pedal get over to the curves and of course you come up to this corner right here lift a little bit kind of coast through there get hard on the gas over this curve you got to be really careful there the car can really slip out on you uh what i've noticed so far at least but overall decent lap right there decent in lap i should say i'm not sure how this pit lane is going to go for myself but uh here we go down into this final turn and i would say not too bad for my first attempt at getting into the pit lane here in the Indian Grand Prix. So overall, I mean, not the worst first run in the world for a track I have never even, you know, seen a full lap of in my life. So uh, let's see what we can do though on this final uh, run. The white stripes go on and we got a Toro Rosso just in front of us that just came into the pits and I can see Senna coming to pass me right now and of course is that Maldonado going to be ahead of me or behind me? It looks like he's ahead of me right there as well but there's quite a few cars in this vicinity now so that's another confidence booster right here oh no that's center right in front of us so maldonado we actually ran a lot better of a lap uh, of an in lap than maldonado did that's for sure so let's see if we can now get ourselves into the points before this grand prix is over oh we have so many cars actually right up here it's gonna get interesting now we've played our cards pretty well honestly better 
than I thought we did. We have DRS on Kobayashi, and we do have some cars exiting the pit lane. Uh, Schumacher as well, I think, just exited. Yes, he did. Uh, but we are all over the back of Kobayashi. I don't want to wreck you again, mate. Oh, my God. I sent one up the inside. I didn't realize we were just going to have that much more stopping power than he did right there. I mean, he just was off on the braking. So, I mean, it was easy for myself. And look at all these cars right here. This is really going to make an interesting final half of the Grand Prix. Which, honestly, I didn't know how this was going to go. It wasn't looking, you know great for me oh it's not looking great now either because kobayashi's got a massive massive amount of drs and here he comes he's not gonna make the move i don't think no he will not perfect now as we head down into second gear into the like the right hand coda turn one looking corner without the of course massive elevation change i am loving this so much this track is an absolute blast uh, to drive around. It is so good. Perez right there in front of us. That's for 10th place. And then you have all these cars right up here, including a Ferrari, which we already know is Felipe Massa. Perez already going defensive. That's a car pitting right there. Who was that? Was that... Is that Senna again coming into the pits? Something must have happened there. Perez, a sitting duck to myself. That puts us into P10. And now passing Perez into P9. We go. Thank you very much. I drove way too deep into turn one. Nearly going to get the position back. No, he's way behind. So we're okay. Felipe Massa next on the list. If we can actually run down our teammate of Michael Schumacher somehow and beat him, I would consider that a major success of a Grand Prix considering where we started, you know, when I started recording this video 19 minutes and 50 seconds ago. Right now, 3.2 seconds of Felipe Massa. Hamilton's out in front currently uh, as we head down into this first turn. And, I mean, the gap right now to Massa, not closing as much as I would like it to close. Uh, but overall, still, we have a nice opportunity here. Coming to five laps to go this time. Well, I'm about to use all of my possible current appointment again and just... Stretch out that gap to Perez. He might have DRS, but by the time he's able to really make a difference out of it, he is not going to be able to make a move. I feel like I gained some time that lap. 3.1. All right, I gained two tenths of a second. Okay, I mean, I wasn't wrong. I did gain something. Aside from a, a wild start to the Grand Prix, it's been a pretty calm Grand Prix. Oh, God, getting on the grass there. As this is the corner that's scary to me. If you get on that curve the wrong way, I mean, it will unsettle the car like crazy. So you got to be really, really careful now. But uh, once again, I mean, just still... That gap doesn't change. I mean, I'm trying so hard to get there, but they are just, they're just keeping it the same. Like if it's 3.0, 3.1, I'm guessing, 2.998. Oh my God, we're getting closer. We got three laps to find a way. I just remembered I can put the fuel in a rich. I completely forgot about it. Let's see if that helps us a little bit now uh, as you head down towards the braking zone right at that 150 mark. I feel like I could push the braking zone definitely a little bit deeper, but just the comfort level is kind of just felt like that's where I need to be braking for that corner. Uh, but yeah, 2.927 still the gap button with the fastest lap of the Grand Prix right there 133 flat uh, But we crossed the line the gap nothing different there 3.1 seconds still two laps to go now at this point You know the reality is unless they start tussling like crazy in front of us. We are not going to get to them uh, But never say never, you know, I believe in miracles here. I see they seem to be running down Schumacher uh, so I'm hoping that maybe if they get to him real quick, they really start battling it out. But they've all just been kind of riding. I mean, they haven't really been, you know, doing very much in this Grand Prix. And honestly, at this point, I feel like I've hit my limit of what I can do in this Grand Prix in terms of driving. I don't feel like I can find a whole lot of improvement uh, from this point on unless I, you know, put a whole lot of laps under my belt. So at this point, it's just I got what I got and I'm, you know, doing what I can. But that gap... It's just not quite going the way I want it to go. We're pulling way far away from the cars behind us, but 2.9 seconds again. Actually, a purple sector one. So we take those, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not going to happen, obviously, at this point. I actually got through that corner pretty well for once. Holy crap, I am a changed boy. We are uh, coming to the final lap. Alonzo with a 132A, but it's all Lewis Hamilton who could have guessed that one out in front and checking out. We're going to cross the line. That felt like a pretty decent lap. Almost, almost the fastest lap. Look at the time we just gained. I don't know where that came from. If only I could have done that earlier uh, as we start this final lap here in the Indian Grand Prix. Oh, that was, a, that was a rough turn one. But honestly, you know, still at the end of the day, uh, points is, is what we're going to score. So I can't really complain about points. Uh, but if I had five more laps, I really would like to see what we could do. There's literally like four spots right here in front of us. That unfortunately we just can't quite get the access to fight with which is uh you know a little bit sad uh but we're doing everything we can and just trying to close this gap I'm gonna break a little bit later this time i break just past the 150 by a couple feet and that gap's definitely closing now i mean we are closing it's just not gonna be enough here hamilton's gonna cruise to the wind 2.3 seconds look at the time we found 
all of a sudden it's just too little too late here in the indian grand prix one final time through that corner of this terribleness for me and just you know abusing the curves as much as i possibly can down through the long sweeping right hander it is what it is i really wish we had a little bit more time to race here because i think we could have done something pretty awesome uh in terms of positions but at the end of the day i'm not even disappointed uh you know p8 is still a decent effort for this car and and lewis hamilton does win the grand prix but we gained so much time right at the end of this thing that it is sad that it ends now as the late charge isn't going to be enough. Hamilton with a 132.7. Can we set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix? 130, 131, 132.4. We set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix right at the end. We at least, you know, end it with something a little cool there. And just, you know, not a, not a down note. P9. I thought we were P8. P9 is where we end up here in the Indonesian Grand Prix. But we do set the fastest lap by three tenths of a second. So... We found a lot of pace right at the end of this Grand Prix. Unfortunately, too little, too late. Kobayashi and Charles Pick actually DNF'd, and Timo Glock went a whole lap down. Here we have the standings. Hamilton increases his lead to 64. That will, you know, practically wrap it up at this point. It's not mathematically over, uh, but it is definitely realistically over. And the constructors, of course, over as well uh, as Mercedes. I mean, absolutely. McLaren Mercedes absolutely dominated. Uh, but the battle is still on for second between Alonso and Button and Weber and Vettel there. Fourth and fifth. We are P11 in the standings. We only got a couple points there, uh, but we can still beat Schumacher by the time the season's over. So the battle is on between him and the Next one, I believe, we go to Abu Dhabi, which is earlier in 2012 than it, what it is, of course, what we are accustomed to now. So Abu Dhabi, the old Abu Dhabi, should be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys then. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Thank you all for taking the time of your day for watching. A good Grand Prix overall. Really wasn't bad. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.